Camp Credentials, powered by Cox, Dave Pash, alongside Kyle Odegaard from azcardinals.com. All right, Kyle, today we're going to break down the defensive line for the Cardinals. I know as you look at the Cardinals defense, it's probably not the sexiest thing to discuss because you have Chandler Jones, one of the best pass rushers in the game, Patrick Peterson, one of the best corners in the game, pro bowler at safety in Buda Baker, Isaiah Simmons, top 10 draft pick at linebacker. But that group up front, especially in a 3-4, is of the utmost importance in advanced Joseph defense. What are you looking forward to out of this group? The thing I think we need to see is more interior pressure in 2020. Last year, they lost some guys in preseason and, and in training camp, and the group never quite lived up to that standard. If they can get consistent pressure, they did a pretty good job stopping the run, but I think getting after a quarterback from the interior is so important, and that's going to help Chandler Jones if they can do that. So with that said, you look at Jordan Phillips, one of the players the Cardinals brought in in the offseason. Nine and a half sacks last year. Now, is that the anomaly? Because in previous years, he had nowhere near that total. Is that just how things played out because of the defense? Was he right place, right time? Or has he made great strides to become a pass rusher from that interior position? I mean, you can see the size and the ability. I think he's got that potential. And clearly, the Cardinals liked what they saw. They gave him a lucrative deal in free agency. They think he can be that guy. And if he is, I think it just really transforms that defensive front because having a guy inside that can do that consistently, that's a big boost for everyone. One of the guys I'm really interested in seeing is Zach Allen because he showed so much promise in camp last year. He did play in some games, but he was injured as well. And it looks like he's gotten bigger and stronger. What, what's, what do you anticipate his role will be this year? Yeah, I think the door is open for him to have a very big role. And like you said, he said he gained 15 pounds of muscle. Good, good quarantine 15 weight instead of the bad quarantine 15 weight. Uh, but I think, you know, he, he has the pedigree of being an early third round pick. He has potential. And now you start talking about a D line that can be average or above average if he if he lives up to that. And that's a big deal on defense. Is there someone under the radar that we need to talk about? Is it is it a Jonathan Bullard who we got to see a lot of last year? Is there someone in that second group that maybe we need to keep an eye on here in camp? I think Lecky Fotu, the rookie fourth-round pick, could be important. And he doesn't seem like a, a great pass rusher quite yet. But if he can be that run-stuffing guy on short yardage situations, stopping the run isn't as important in the NFL as it used to be. But when you talk about a third and one, a fourth and one, if he makes a big play, that can change a possession and force a punt or force, force a turnover on downs. So he could have a critical role. Can't talk about the D-line without talking about Corey Peters, 32 years old, 11 years in the league now. And he's been healthy. Remember four or five years ago he had that injury. He's come back from that injury, started every game last year. I think he's missed just one game the last two years. How important is Peters? Such a linchpin on that defensive line, like you said. And run stopping is his forte. He's great at it. He always knows where to be. Where to be. He's very physical at the line of scrimmage. Uh, run stuffing isn't super sexy like you talked about, but I think Corey Peters is going to be a big key this year. He's getting older, but he's such a dependable veteran. If those guys do their jobs, it allows Chandler Jones to be who he is. It allows Patrick Peterson to be great on the outside and Buda Baker to do his thing as well. For Kyle Odegaard, I'm Dave Pash. That'll do it for Camp Credentials, powered by Cox.